The picturesque Dolomite Mountains in Italy, famed today for their rugged beauty. But just 100 years ago, they played host to one of the bloodiest, yet least remembered, World War I battles. Historians say the fighting on the Italian front was like none Europe had seen before, with tunnels cut through glaciers and frontline trenches dug into the mountain. Winter brought particular hardships. The big problem is coldness. During the winter, here we can have 30 degrees under zero in the night and also months long that also by day the temperatures never goes over zero. In winter, here can be a two meters high snow. And so all the paths have to be cleaned by human power. No machines, no electricity, no heaters. The mountains were also used as a weapon. With boulders and bombs rolled down the slopes, 40,000 soldiers were killed by avalanches alone, some of them purposely triggered. The Italian front stretched 600 kilometres along the then border between Italy and Austria, much of it crossed the Dolomite Mountains. Italy launched an attack on Austria in 1915 after siding with the UK, French and Russian allies. But the Austrians dug in on high ground and the front soon bogged down in trench warfare, sparking a series of battles lasting three years. Etched into this valley alone is a network of trenches stretching kilometres. This one was on the front line. It was built by the Austrians. This here was the artillery position from which they'd fire down on the Italians as they tried to climb the mountain to attack. The crater in the side of this mountain is the result of Italian tactics to remove the Austrian troops stationed at the top. The Italians dug this gallery inside of the mountains and then they make a big room. In the room, they keep circa 35 tonnes of uh, explosive and then uh, let uh, the top of the mountain explode. A museum documenting the Forgotten Front has now been set up in an old World War I fort, its founder filling it with abandoned military artefacts. When I decided to create a museum, for me it was important to remember the war stories so that we wouldn't make the same mistakes we made in the past. By the end of the war, 600,000 Italians and 400,000 Austrians had been killed on the Italian front, many in these mountains. The Italians did finally win the battle and annexed this region from Austria. But 100 years on, despite the efforts of local historians, little is documented about this brutal campaign. Sarah Morris, TRT World, Cortina, Italy.